Hello, this is Bryant Myers, and welcome to another episode of Debunking Flat Earth. Um, I'm excited to share this short little video with you because I found another really great image from Thursday where the Artemis got a really great shot of the Earth. And it was good enough that I could do a little analysis using the Meteostat satellite and to compare the cloud cover to confirm that yes, indeed, it is a real photo. But before we go into that, I just want to share with you a little bit of footage that for me was very inspiring of this shot. So, so enjoy and then we'll come back and we'll talk about the image. So I hope you enjoyed that. It's just to me just so inspiring. All these images that are coming back from Artemis, just the very fact that we're, you know, preparing to go back to the moon for another moon landing and probably 2025 to actually touch base on the moon. Now, in one of my past videos, I, I took a look at this image here, which is still my favorite coming from Artemis. And, and we looked at the cloud cover uh, and you could see that the comparison, it compares very well with this structure here and the swirl, etc. And then I did a little YouTube short where I compared this image that came from one of the navigation cameras. So this one here is not quite the quality, but it is, you know, good enough that we could go through and we can compare the cloud structures and, and we can see that they do match. And I'll put a link below this video so you can kind of go through these on your own. But when you go through the Meteostat and some of these images, keep in mind that the clouds are going to be a little... When I, when I look at them here, they're just a little fainter. So you have to kind of look at the structures. But when you really look carefully, you see that they are a match. This is just, again, undisputable evidence. So now I want to go into looking at the image that you just saw. And I do prefer Himawari and Go 16, 17, just because they, they give us more updated images and I can kind of refine the time. With Mediosat, it's, it's not as good because when I go back in time, it's like every three hours, so I have to do my best to estimate. But the good news is, as we'll see when we compare 12 noon to, to 3 p.m., and using timeanddate.com, I was able to kind of see, you know, when this part of the, the Earth is, was in daylight. So we got a pretty good idea when uh, this image was taken. And even a three-hour difference, it's interesting how the structures they don't really change that much. So even though we don't know the exact time here, because I, I didn't get a timestamp from NASA on this one, I, I, I looked, I just couldn't find it. But again, we can see what, what's lit up here during the day, and we know it's Thursday, the 24th, that this was taken. So we can go through, and, and, and they're very similar with the structure. So um, we'll put them here side by side in a minute. But the good news is, these cloud formations, their overall structure, it does dissipate, but it doesn't change really that much, surprisingly, at the global level. So now when we kind of go through and compare, you can see this structure down here matches here. Remember, this is tilted up a little bit in three dimensions. But if you follow the structure, you're gonna see that this, this here matches here. Um, down, and again, the, the cloud cover all throughout here matches in here. You can see there are really no clouds in this area, which confirms up in here. Um, in Madagascar here, we can see um, there's clouds here matching here. This structure here matches right in here. And you can see this little tail coming down here matches the tail coming here. Again, remember, we're rotated up. And you have up here, this image up here matches here. and you know, again, some of these are kind of faint. So even though this looks like there's more clouds here, when you look at the Mediosat satellite, you're gonna see these fainter clouds that are just, they just look brighter here. Just, it's just the nature of uh, the way that the light is hitting, you know, from this distance away from the sun, from Artemis versus the very close uh, satellite. The Mediosat's much closer. And, I won't go through the three o'clock one. It's, it's pretty much a lot of the same. So when you look at the 12 noon and the 3 p.m. side by side, and again, I'm gonna put a link here. 
you can see this overall structure here. It doesn't change all that much. It's kind of interesting how the clouds kind of hold their form. So again, we can see this, this is confirmed here. And again, the patterns down in here are, of course, it's going to be the same down here. This is the same image. But up here, even though this looks lighter in here, if you kind of go in through there, the clouds are all there. You know, this structure down here kind of stays the same. Again, matching here. So they're not, there's not a whole lot of difference. So, so we can be confident that we're probably getting between this 12 noon to 3 p.m. that it's somewhere in this time frame. So this is just amazing confirmation that the cloud cover is matching these images we're getting from Artemis. So flat earthers are always asking, you know, show us a real image from space. This is just a nail in the coffin of the flat earth movement. I mean, if people can just take this in with an open mind, especially those that are on the fence, that are open enough to use their mind and their rationality to say, this is real, we are going back to the moon. These images coming from Artemis are real. We live on a globe. This flat earth is nonsense. It's just, you know, it sounded convincing at first, but then when I really looked into it, this just doesn't add up. I mean, just nothing about it adds up. I mean, something as simple as a sunset doesn't add up. But they demand, show us the curve, show us image, real images from space that aren't CGI. Well, flat earthers, here you go with cloud formation confirmation. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this short little video. Please do like and subscribe to my channel and leave some comments. I would like to know what you think or if you've come across anything, let me know. And thanks again and have a great weekend.